Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one empress, and I'm going to be doing a reading for my cancers, my water signs, my tools, till signs, my partners in crime, my gods and goddesses. Welcome back, and how you guys doing? Um, I would appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos when I post them. If you like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out. Let's get into the reading. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own so I can give my cancers, my gods and goddesses, the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Now let's see what's on and popping for my cancers. All right, cancers, right now you're just in a state of feeling a little bit left out. You're feeling, you know, out um, like somebody forgot about you. And you're just really trying to isolate yourself so that you can, you know, evaluate what's going on so you can get into the state of contentment. You feel like that you you feel like that you want to work more on your money and take your mind off of, you know, coming together with this person to make it work. You feel like that you want to give back and that you are ready to manifest, you know, a new beginning. You, your money situation is going good. You're ready just continuing to manifest on that. You feel like that you're ready to approach situations for what they are and um, just be upfront and say how you feel. You feel like that you've been um, quiet long enough and you're ready to stand up and, you know, speak your mind. You are, um, you feel like that your, your person or someone is, you know, doing things behind your back. You feel like that um, you just really want to work on your money. I see you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You feel like... Uh, You feel like that you are tired of giving yourself a pity party and you're just ready to take action on making a choice and a decision on what you're going to do with your future. But you, uh, right now, you're not in the best, um, you don't have the, the most confident at this time, confidence. So you're just really thinking about, you know, going another round. You're thinking about, you know, Working it out with this person that you feel like is your uh, soulmate. You feel like that you're just ready to stay there. You want to, you know, work it out, do what it takes, and, you know, stand up and take action and make a choice on what you want to do. You figuring out that you are a manifester and that you um, are control in control of your life. All right, you are, you know, just standing up for yourself and, you know, pushing for your new beginning. You might be doing some type of business venture or, you know, making a large purchase. Um, but let me give you an outcome and advice, cancers. Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. But you really need to gain your confidence level up so that you can be victorious in making a conscious choice and a decision on how you're going to get into a calmer space within your thoughts. Okay? You just really... Excuse me, guys, for the noise. That's my puppy. Okay? Um, you just really needing to get some rest Make a choice and a decision on what you need to do. Okay. I am so sorry. Cupcake? No. Okay, so you see how things are going here? 
that's a that's what I'm feeling for my cancers. Like things is a bit chaotic for you. Things is a bit, you know, up in the air. Things is not, you know, just not going in the flow like you expected. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the nine of swords. This is you just, you know, stressing hard and really trying to work towards letting this burden go and letting go of the past. You really don't want to get back at this person, but it's, you know, that person ain't giving up on you. So you just feeling like you at a crossroads and want to take your time. You know, I'm going to give you an oracle card to sum this up, Cancer. This is like a, you know, complex type of reading. So, good luck with everything. Let's see what God saw spirit, the oracle wants to tell you. Nine of waters. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. All right, so you're getting some contentment. You know, you're getting ready to, you know, close out a cycle and level up. Come from up under them drowning waters. And you have the two of fire. You're, you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. All right. See, just continue to move forward. Make the right choices. You know, uh Think real long and hard on your life and where you will, where you been and where you want to go. Pray about everything so that you can get up out of this low vibrational energy and get the love that you ultimately desire. Get the, you know, manifest the, the, the fruits of your labor. Manifest the things that you always wanted. You have all the tools that it takes to do that. Okay? So, um, good luck with everything. I just took that one from the bottom. The seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your grounds. Choose your battles wisely. Take your time. Listen to the voice of God. Assess your situation. Be clear and make a positive choice and a decision. Defend your beliefs and your decisions. And, you know, make it happen for you. Make it happen. All right. Well, good luck with everything, cancers. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. If this energy resonates with any of you guys, please put a comment down below. Once again, I do apologize for all the little mishaps that was going on. I got a little six-month-old puppy, and it's just, this little girl is really active. So, um, once again, good luck. I love you guys. Until next time, it's me, Joy's Love, the number one empress. Be safe. Wash your hands while you're masked. And peace hey, out. No.